welcome back we are still on the topic construction in the previous video we learned how to construct the locus of points equidistant from three intersecting lines in this video we are going to solve a likely examination question on construction here is our question using a ruler and a pair of compasses only construct a quadrilateral a b c d such that the length of the side a b is 6.5 centimeters the length of the side b c is 9 centimeters the length of the side a d is 4 centimeters the angle a b c is equal to 60 degrees and angle b a d is equal to 120 degrees I, I construct L1, the locus of points equidistant from C and D. I, I, I construct L2, the locus of points equidistant from the line AD and the line CD. B, locate P, the point of intersection of L1 and L2. And C, measure the length of DP. So this is our question. We are going to solve the first part in this video and we will solve the remaining parts in the next video. So let's begin by constructing the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. We are going to construct the quadrilateral A, B, C, D and we have been given the dimensions of the side A, B, the side B, C and the side A, D. We have also been given two interior angles, angle a b c and angle b a d we will have to select one of the sides given to us as the base from the previous videos we have learned that the side that you will select as the base will depend on the points on which the angles given to us will fall we have angle a b c and angle b a d angle a b c will fall on point b and angle b a d will fall on point a so i'm going to choose the side a b as the base because when i choose the side a b as the base i'll be able to construct angle a b c on point b and angle b a d on point a so in this video i'm going to use the side a b which has the length 6.5 centimeters as the base to do this i'll take the ruler and draw a long horizontal line just as we have been doing all along so i have my ruler here i'm going to draw my horizontal line the side i'm using as the base is the side a b with length 6.5 centimeters so i'll take the compass and measure 6.5 centimeters on the ruler measure 6.5 centimeters on the ruler using my compass after that, I'll transfer it onto the line. So I'll put the needle of the compass here, turn it, construct an arc to intersect the line. Then with the same radius, I'll move the needle of the compass to this point, turn it and construct another arc to intersect the line. I'm going to clean some parts of the arc so that we continue. I'll clean here and clean here. Come here, clean this side and clean this side too. This will be point A and this will be point B. The length of the side AB is 6.5 centimeters. Now let's move on to the angles. We have angle ABC, which is 60 degrees, and angle BAD, which is 120 degrees. Let's begin with angle ABC, which is 60 degrees. So we are going to construct a 60 degrees angle on point B. To do that, you take the compass and you put the needle on point B. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point B. Then I'll adjust it a little bit to a reasonable radius. After that, I'll turn the compass and construct a semicircle on the line AB using point B as the center. After constructing the semicircle with the same radius that you use to construct the semicircle, you move the needle of the compass to this point, then you turn it and you construct an arc here. To get the 60 degrees angle, 
you draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the arc and the semicircle to point B. So the angle formed at point B here is 60 degrees. The length of the side BC is 9 centimeters. So to get BC, you will measure 9 centimeters on the ruler using the compass. To do that, you put another of the compass on point zero, then you stretch the other parts to 9 centimeters, which will be 90 millimeters on my ruler. After getting that, I'll move the needle of the compass to point B. The side we are constructing is BC, and we have point B. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point B, then turn it and construct an arc to intersect the line that you constructed. The point of intersection of the line and the arc will give us point C. So we have point C here. I'm going to clean this part of the arc so that we can continue. Now let's move on to the other angle given to us. The other angle given to us is angle BAD, which is 120 degrees. So we are going to construct a 120 degrees angle on point A. To do that, we will move the needle of the compass to point A. Then you adjust it a little bit. After that, you turn it and you construct a semicircle on the line AB using point A as the center. After doing that, with the same radius that you use to construct the semicircle, you move the needle of the compass to this point. Then you turn it and construct an arc to intersect the semicircle that you constructed. To get the 120 degrees angle on point A, you will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the arc and the semicircle to point A. So the angle formed at point A here is 120 degrees. The question tells us that the length of the side AD is 4 centimeters. So to get AD, we will measure 4 centimeters on the ruler using our compass. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point zero. Then I'll stretch the other part, that is the part holding the pencil, to 4 centimeters, which is 40 millimeters on my ruler. After that, I'll move the needle of the compass to point A. The side we are constructing is AD, and we have point A here. So I'll put the needle of the compass on point A, turn it, and construct an arc to intersect the line here. The point of intersection of the arc and the line will give us point D. So we now have point A, point B, point C, and point D. To get the side AD, we will draw a line to join point C to point D. So we have now constructed the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. The length of the side AB is 6.5 centimeters. The length of the side BC is 9 centimeters. The length of the side AD is 4 centimeters. The angle ABC is 60 degrees and angle BAD is 120 degrees. I'm going to take both the compass and the ruler off so that you can see the quadrilateral very clearly. We are now done with the first part of the question. We are going to continue with the remaining parts in the next video. So see you in the next video and let's continue with the solution. Bye-bye.